I applied to five schools. My safeties were Boston University for Biomedical Engineering, Duke University for Neuroscience. My targets were MIT for Brain and Cog Sci, Stanford for Biomedical Computation, Harvard for Computational Neuroscience, and my reaches were none. I'm kidding, of course, all these schools are insanely competitive and so you can't consider them reaches, unless, of course, I end up getting into all of them, but what are the odds of that happening? Let's get started. All right, the date is October 22nd, 2022. I've been working on my applications and my essays and everything for Harvard's early action, the restrictive early action. All right, it's 3.58 p.m., meaning there's just two minutes to go. All right, it's time to start refreshing the page. It's almost 4 p.m. All right, 4 p.m. Um, currently, no update yet. Okay, somehow I did not see this. It might take a couple more minutes. Oh, mom, it's there. It's there, it's there. The status update is here. Okay, ready? Okay, hello, Aditya, are the you best. ready? All the best. <laughs> I got oh, it. Oh, it's it's you yeah. made it. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, it's time to start refreshing the page. It's almost 4 p.m. All right, 4 p.m. Um, currently, no update yet, so it might take a couple more minutes. Oh, mom, it's there. It's there, it's there. The status update is here. Okay, ready? Okay, hello, Aditya. All Are the best, ready? all the best. On Pi Day, we see a teenager, Rishabh, sitting on the couch scrolling through his phone. Suddenly, he receives an email notification and jumps up excitedly. Congratulations! You've been accepted to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Except, uh, that's not what really happened. Let me show you the real reaction. The date is March 14th. It's Pi Day, MIT Decision Day. All right, so we're back home from APGov, and now there's little under an hour before the MIT decisions come out. And so as you can see over here, I've got my setup with the MIT applicant portal, and I'm gonna be inviting some of my friends to come over for the reaction. All right, guys, some of my friends are here, and decisions are literally about to come out in 60 seconds. Whoa! What is your name and occupation? My name is Shrey and I'm a student at Westview High School. Do you think Rishabh Jain will get into MIT? I definitely think he'll get in because he's, he was selected for RSI. He's also the winner of ISEF. He has a very high GPA and he got a perfect score on the ACT. That's some compelling evidence. What's your name and occupation? I'm Manis. I'm a student at Westview High School. What do you think about this occasion? I'm just really happy to be here in Rishabh Jain's neighborhood. I just cannot believe it. He's done it all and he's here to take it all and I can't wait to see you. I very much agree. What is your name and occupation? I'm Rochelle and I'm a senior from Westview High School. Do you think Rishabh Jain will get into MIT? I think he's get yielded because he already got into Harvard. I don't think he'll get into MIT. Yo! Damn, okay. All right, so we have two angles set up. One is over here and one is up there and I'm just gonna start refreshing the page for as soon as decisions come out. All right, guys, it's actually 325 and the decisions are already out. And so, are you guys ready to open it? Yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's do it. All right, okay. all right. Three, two. Wait, shoot, I'm nervous. Let's go, let's go. Right, just open it, just open it, let's go, let's go. Yeah! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go, Rochelle! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Dear Rishabh, on behalf of the admissions committee, it is my pleasure to offer you admission to the MIT class of 2020. Yeah. Oh, what's, what's, bro. Okay. 
All right, guys, the date is now March 26th, and my decision for Boston University or BU is now here. Um, it actually came out a few hours ago, but I wasn't counting down the exact seconds for BU, and so I just realized that, hey, the decisions are out, and so I'm here to open them, turn on the recording. But let me tell you a little bit about BU and why I applied first. Um, BU has a really great BS in biomedical engineering. That was the major, my, like my top choice that I put down when I was applying on the Common App. Um, and so as you guys can see here, I mean, it's just really incredible um, the work that they're doing to to combat, you know, human disease and, and help for human treatments. Um, that's something that I've been super passionate about and I've been doing a lot of research on. And so it just kind of really clicked there for me um, to apply BME at BU. It's the only school that I actually applied uh, for an engineering major at. All the other schools I did, you know, I did biomedical computation at Stanford um, and then neuroscience at Harvard. And so, yeah, as you guys can see here, there's just some really cool work um, and great research that's that's being done here in the BME department that I would definitely want to get involved in if I was admitted. So let's see what the decision is. Um, so I don't know if this already means I got in because. This is already showing admitted students congratulations, but maybe they're maybe they're just saying congratulations to the admitted students. Um, I don't know. So anyway, let's press for your decision here. Um, OK, ready? Three, two, one. Dear Rishab, congratulations. Um, so I got admitted to the College of Engineering and chosen for a BU trustee scholar. OK, so. Over here, congrats for the trustee scholarship. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. It covers tuition and student fees. So that's like, well, something like 250K. Um, really cool that I got accepted and uh, got that scholarship. All right, the rest of this clip was low key, just me rambling. And so I'm just gonna replace this with a voiceover. I'm basically just saying that it's hype time, it's decision time, because it's the end of March. And so I'm gonna see you very soon. All right, so it's now March 31st and it's 2.55 p.m. Pacific um, and Duke decisions come out at 6 p.m. Eastern, I think. They didn't give a Pacific time. I'm just assuming this is Eastern. And so the decisions should literally come out in under five minutes now. Rejected or waitlisted, it's going to be like, oh my God. Okay. It's now 2.59 p.m., so we're less than 60 seconds away from the Duke admission decision. And so I'm just going to start refreshing the page now. It looks like Duke isn't releasing it early like some of the other schools do, where they just randomly released it like two or three minutes earlier. Um, and so I'm just waiting any second now. OK, so there's now a status update at exactly 3 p.m. Um, I'm going to view it in three, two, one. Why is it taking so long? OK. Uh, cool. So I got admitted to Duke um, and there's a financial aid letter below. They have Blue Devil Days, uh, their on campus event for Duke. Um, and over here in my Discord server, it's a private discord um where we have just some people here who are watching this so that's pretty cool uh but yeah i don't know this one is it's an interesting one for sure and now i have four offers that i need to consider and the fifth one it might be coming in just an hour the last one i have stanford um so we'll see what happens and i'll see you in an hour For a brief summary and overview in case you haven't seen my past videos, um, I first got my early 
action result for Harvard um, and was accepted. I then got my MIT result on Pi Day just about two weeks ago, was accepted there, and then I got an, uh, an email from BU about my decision there just a couple days ago and was accepted there with the trustee scholarship. And now today I had my final two decisions, so five schools in total, um, Duke, so I just got accepted there an hour ago, super excited for that. Um, and now finally we have Stanford. So a lot of options here and I'm incredibly grateful for that, but we are just seven minutes away from the decision being released and I'm super excited to see what happens. Also one quick note, I was planning on opening Stanford alone, but my mom insisted that she gets to see it with me when I open it. And so um, in case you hear something coming from one of the sides over here, that's my mom, don't be alarmed. So it's 3.59 now and I'm refreshing the Stanford page and it just came out. Okay. Uh, are you ready? Yes. Status update. Uh -huh. New updates to your application were posted. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Job. You got it. Cool. So, okay. Looking back at it, Stanford was one of my top choices. So I have no idea why I just said cool here. I was genuinely excited and still am super excited for it. So dear Rishabh, congratulations. You've been admitted to the Stanford class of 2027. Um, and so Stanford has their admit weekend in late April. Um, and so, yeah, this is definitely really, really exciting. Um, really amazing to see this. Hey guys, just a quick note, on my YouTube channel, I make videos for highly motivated students about subjects like productivity and STEM research. And so if you're interested in that sort of thing, be sure to subscribe down below. It really does help me out a lot and I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel. Um, at the same time, I'm gonna be making videos for my stats, honors, awards, ECs, and then also making a video announcing which college I end up choosing. I'm actually still in the process of deciding. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. With that, I'm just walking outside and it's so windy, but I'll see you next time.